Hello tubers, it's your crazy British bloke here. Well, the Yorkshire Pudding Challenge, eh? Well, I don't know, I don't know what I got us all into here, I really don't. Um, well, Skaven put up a great video. I'll, uh, I'll show you that. He, uh, yeah, he done really well. I think he's got the biggest Yorkshires at the moment out of us lot. Uh, I've got a little clip of my last attempt. Mm, it's not bad. The hardest part is is keeping them warm enough that they don't sag when you take them out of the oven. That's the hardest bit. Also, there's a few other people. Uh, maybe I'll put their clips in or their links in. Um, they've been sending a lot of stuff around. Still waiting for Marcel, Marcel St. Jean, to uh, make his one. Uh, Rex said he wasn't going to do it because he, he burns water, but... I'm sure he could have a go at this if he really wanted to. Um, Redneck Rickham, where are you, buddy? You're a good cook. Come on, where are you? You've not done your bit yet. Uh, anyone else that wants to, you know, throw one in, put it up on here. Uh, there's a lot of people that have been uh, been doing their ones and putting them up as video responses to mine, which was the Yorkshire Pudding Challenge, and to Skaven's. There's lots of them gone on there. Uh, let's see where we're going from here um well i'm going to show you the clip of my last attempt then i'm going to show you a clip of somebody and now he's he's got a site okay and he's an english guy and he has a site called original naked chef that's his site and he does a thing called christmas yorkshire puddings and i hope he doesn't mind me using it but i'm going to film it and show you exactly how Yorkshire pudding should be and I'll stick that on at the end now I hope you don't mind bud me doing that but uh you know if I put the link up maybe to your site uh where well, they're going to see it anyhow then go and have a look but that's the real way and you make us lot look like amateurs that's all I'm going to say anyhow enough of that let's get on with this my dad rang me up the day and he said he watched the video and he was shouting at the screen, what are you doing? What are you doing? You've got to do this, you've got to do that. Anyhow, he's given me a few tips on Granny's old recipe. So uh, let me show you what I've got over here, right? Now, I got myself a new pan. He said you need a pan, not a too big pan. You can't use those great big cake pans. Um, use something like this and you can get it in the middle of the oven. And I've got my secret recipe over here like granny does all right and it's got a damp towel on it there it is look now look at that look you see that it's all bubbly and it's all sort of ready and i've got to give it another stir i'm not going to tell you what's in it give it another stir and i got me oven at 400 so i'm now going to put this in and it's only got a little bit of oil in it look all right so that's going to go in and then right so let's see i've got granny's secret recipe in here and the way we do this this is what i've been told is we undo the oven mm. oh yeah she's hot and we're going to put a tray out just a little bit okay and we're going to put in granny's recipe Now she's going back in the oven, right in the middle, shut the door. Now let, let's see if this works, okay. Right then tubers, the old granny's recipe, let's have a look, let's get them out and see what they look like. Wow, they come out pretty damn good actually, look at that. And then I look. What do you think? Not it bad. Good. Not bad. Don't know. Don't look too bad. What do you think, then, Scave? And all the boys out there. I don't know. 
Maybe I'm gonna have to have another go. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They're not bad though. Look, they look. They're sort of. Maybe they could have done with a little bit longer. I don't know. Yeah, they look right, Adam. I think you've beaten us. Look at that, eh? They're really good. They're. Uh, they've risen really well, buddy. But uh, look what happens when you take them out. Yeah, they do like mine. They, uh, yeah. That's what happens, isn't it, eh? That's the trouble, bud. Yeah, Adam, I think you, uh, yeah, I think you, you, you actually nailed it there. You really did. But, uh, yeah, it, the, the art of it is getting them out and not letting them, like, they shrink when they get cold, don't they? That's the trouble. Now, what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you another video, uh, another site that I actually watched. And uh, <clears throat> the guy's site is Original Naked Chef. He's a British guy. Now, I really hope he doesn't, you know, mind me using this. I'm just going to show a short clip. And that's Original Naked Chef. He's from England. And this is called Christmas Yorkshire Puddings. How to make easy recipe. And it's absolutely brilliant. And you're going to see what I've been on about. Now, these are real Yorkshire puddings. These are massive. So, uh, I'll show you the clip quickly. Right, here we go. This is how you make real Yorkshire puddings. You won't believe this, Adam. Watch. And put them on a plate. You watch these. And here we have the six Yorkshire puddings. All made. All look at the size of these, plate. look. Now, this yeah. guy really yeah. knows how to, how to make them. Go to his channel. He's from England. Original Naked yeah. Chef. Remember that. And for you wondering what it was like inside, there you can see it. They are freaking brilliant. This guy can really cook English food. There you go. Right, there you go, tubers, eh? Wasn't that brilliant? Did you see the size of those Yorkshires? God, I wish I could make them like that. That guy can really cook. Remember, like I said again, go and check his channel out. It's called The Original Naked Chef. This guy's from England, and he'll show you all the English dishes. It's really good. Um, anyhow, Adam... What more can I say? We'll just wait for the rest of the people to come along and see. Redneck Rick, am I? Come on, get going. Marcel St. Jean. I know what you like. Let's have it. Let's have a look. Anyhow, I'm going to say goodbye now, and I'll talk to you a lot later.